She spends her days saving lives in the cardiac unit at Nebraska Medicine. And her knowledge of the warning signs helps her save one of the most important people in her life, her husband. Tonight, Lindsay Thies has her story of surgery and survival in this special report. From running the floor at Nebraska Medicine to her husband being a patient on the floor, it was a cardio right coincidence now. for Lisa Renko. It started back in February 2015. Lisa and Mitch, married for 18 years, were getting ready to go to Hawaii. We were really excited to go. It was yeah, going to be a great trip and a lot of planning went into it. So we are we we're ready. But one day things slowed down. Mitch wasn't feeling well. He thought maybe he was too tired or had a stomach bug, but they could still make the trip. But knowing what I know now, I don't think that would have been a good idea. Lisa runs the cardiac floor at Nebraska Medicine. Drawing on her experience, she knew in her gut Mitch should get checked out. That's because heart problems might not always present as a heart attack. Nebraska Medicine Chief of Cardiothoracic Surgery, Dr. Michael Moulton, explains. You know, you might sense there's something wrong, but with heart disease, it isn't always as dramatic as you might think. And sometimes you think you're tired or you're not feeling good. So, yeah, it's very important to have, you know, that person in your family that's there and says, you know, listen, this, this isn't right and you need to see somebody. By his wife's suggestion, the Runcos went in for a simple checkup. From there, things happened very fast. A stress test turned into a catheter lab, which turned into a diagnosis, open heart surgery. Mitch needed quintuple bypass. Nothing but fear at that point, yeah. It was pretty upsetting. Now Lisa's co-workers were going to be the same staff, caring for her husband. It was more about the aftermath, the pain, the needles, the hospitals, all the things I know Mitch doesn't like. The vacation was canceled, and the surgery was successful. Recovery, too. Mitch seemed to bounce back quickly with the help of their small pup, Milo. These two will tell you. Part of the success in marriage is puppy love, but the other part goes far beyond those matters of the heart. She's just so supportive and so hardworking. We are just best friends, and so we've been through a lot of tough things together, and this was just another one of those things. Lindsay Thies, KMTV, Action 3 News. Mitch's trip to the hospital likely prevented him from having a heart attack. The American Heart Association says there are three major warning signs to watch out for. They are chest discomfort that lasts for more than a few minutes, pain in one or both arms or in the back, neck or jaw, and shortness of breath.